Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and special thanks for those who subscribe to my channel. Today in this video I will talk about Flames of War and the very special command cards, the Warrior card. You can see I have two tigers on the table, so that gives you a good idea. That would be a Warrior German and I will present you Michael Whitman. Now to use that command card, you must have a formation of Tiger. So because the German formation, Warrior Tiger SS tank company. So you need to have a formation of Tiger. So a minimum of five Tiger of the t on the table. So you cannot just take one platoon and make it Michael Whitman. It's unfortunate. From the start right there, it should be allowed to do that because Michael Whitman was most of the time by himself or with an, a, a platoon of Tiger. But let's see. Has to be formation HQ. So you come with one target, your formation HQ, 13 point. Only in DD, Waff and SS. You can use it. So it costs you 13 point for the thing, 12 point for the card. For 25 point. Why not bringing a second tank? 25 point and personally I will choose to do that because 12 point for a card for one warrior that I have a good chance to be if I'm bad luck destroy pretty fast I would prefer to have two tiger but let's say we decide we want to bring my formation HQ Michael Whitman so 25 point does 12 point is accurate or it should be changed. Let's see what it brings on the table. So my formation commander here has a hot ROF of 3, a moving ROF of 2, instead of the 2-1. So it's kind of having one tiger and half. And we roll all fail to hit rolls when shooting with its 88. So I roll my dice, I miss, I can re-roll. Not too bad. And then the formation HQ unit may deploy using the ambush special rule in addition to our other units that would normally be held in ambush. So at the start of the game, my German force can have one ambush unit. So I decide to use my pack 40 in ambush so I can place them in ambush. On top of that, I may decide to use Michael Whitman in ambush. But it has to be part of the 60 point if you play 100 point game on the table at the start. If the scenario I play doesn't have any ambush unit, I may still have Michael Whitman in ambush. So that's the three perks that bring to my formation commander. For 12 point, Quite expensive, no wonder, never and ever people play that card. So, what will I base myself to change that and what would be the right amount of point? So when we look at the perk, Formation Commander has a HALT ROF of 3 point. I think it's a perk that is used almost every turn that is shooting. So almost all the game, so that perk should be a value of two points. And the same should apply to every warrior you play. If a perk is used almost every turn or can be used almost every turn, it should have a value of two points. He has a second perk, reroll all fail to hit rolls when shooting with its 8.8 cm gun. That means every time you shoot, you have the opportunity to re-roll uh, if you fail your hit. So it's another major perk that you use all the time. It should be a valid two point. Now the third perk, Formation HQ can be may deploy using the ambush special rules. It's a lower perk because you use it only at the beginning of the game or only once during the game. Should 
have a value of one point. So the card should be valued at maximum five points. That's what I think. And this video is all about that. What do you think? Do you agree with me, disagree? And what should it be changed? For me, when I look at Michael Whitman, 12 point, I will never play that card. So I will never bring a warrior on the table because it costs too much to bring it on the table. But if we look at it as a HQ, five points, so it becomes 17 points. I may be tempted to do that, and I may be tempted to use it every time I have a formation of SS Tiger on the table to play a game. But I will change that card also to say for a platoon. If you don't have any formation, so you can have it formation HQ or one platoon. I don't know how you can write it that way, but if I decide to bring only one platoon of Tiger on the table, that platoon can be Michael Whitman for five points for the tank leader. Or if I decide to bring the formation, the formation commander can be Michael Whitman for five points. Because most of the time during the battle, he's a platoon leader on the, in the field during the Second World War. So it was not the command in the back or supporting other platoon. Quite often, he moved part of a platoon. So it should be as a warrior formation HQ or from a Tiger platoon. So you can see that card. So that's two things I will change. The point from 12 to 5. I'll uh, change Sherman Formation Warrior Tiger SS Tank Company to Formation or to simply German Warrior Tiger SS Tank Platoon. Now if I apply that, two point for major perk and one point for lower perk, let's see if I decide to use another card. If I bring Otto Carriers on the table, Warrior Tiger Tank Platoon. So basically, it is only a tank platoon, but you can find it in Bergerschen German. So you decide to have a platoon of Tiger. You can bring Otto Carius as your leader, the warrior, but eight points. It's way too much. I will never do that because it's 12 point versus 12. 12 point versus eight, and I will bring another Tiger at this ammo. But what is the perk? The unit leader may reroll all fair rolls to hit each time he shoots with his 8.8 centimeter gun. That means every time he use, he shoots, or every time he shoots, he can use it. So it should be two point. This unit counterattack on the two plus, so only that often during assault. So if he is assault, or if he does assault. So to be assault by infantry or assault infantry, you might do that one or two times per game. So it should be one point for the counter attack on the two plus. When another unit leader is within six inches and in line of sight of this unit leader, the other unit may reroll fail last ten rolls. It's a lower perk. It should be one point. So two point for this perk that can, can use almost every turn. One per perk. One point for this perk, unit counterattack on the two plus, and one point for unit leader, six inches. Others can reroll, fail last ten. So auto carriers would become four points. If I have a platoon of tiger, 24 points, and I can put auto carriers for four points, I may think about it and go for it. It would be costly. But I think uh, we roll fail it each time we roll. It might be of some value. Counter attack on two plus might interest people to assault with the tiger platoon a bit more often. And when another unit leader is within six inches, we will fail last ten. Might not happen. It may happen. So it become a card that more interesting to bring on the table. 
and I will bring from another country a last card for this video and it is D.D. British Joe Aikens for four points it's a warrior unit Sherman armored troop so if you have a platoon of Sherman uh, with the British what it does is the Firefly 17 pounder, pounder tank in this platoon may reroll any of its fail to hit rolls a bit like Michael Whitman or Tocarius reroll fail so that's at least a good two point the Firefly 17 pounder weapon in this unit gain the precise ro rules and the precise rule said target armor is not to increase for range over 16 inches because we know if the Firefly or any tank shoot at more than 16 inches and you make a hit for in this example the Tiger for example get hit his, his tank is 9 frontal armor 10 for distance and then you roll your dice to be equivalent or better than the end stain of the firefly in this case but because he got the precise perk it would be 9 frontal armor 16 inches they don't have the penalty anymore so it's 10 9 so now you roll to see if you equal the end stain of the firefly or better and I think it should be two point as well. So for Joe Aikens, four point. I think it's really fair. Three point would be better, but everybody will say less point would be better. But the two major perk that you can almost use every turn. So four point for Joe Aikens, it's a f fair amount of point, and for this warrior. <coughs> So to conclude on the warrior command card I think most of the card that's too much point allotted to the warrior now the way I base myself to decide what number of points should be allowed is I go with a perk that can be used almost every turn for two points and a perk that would be used only one or two times during the game or really few would be one point so that's why this one Joey Kins for the Firefly of the Sherman platoon should be four points all perk can be used almost every turn every time you shoot you reroll you fail to hit and you remove the plus one penalty if it is more than 16 inches when you hit and Michael Whitman I would change the card to make it a warrior for a platoon not only for a Tiger Tank Company and I will give you two point to ROF 3 and 2 when you shoot every time reroll all fail to hit on every turn so two point each four point and use an ambush one point so five point is pretty fair if you change it for any platoon six point it's really stretching for the war warrior car, Michael Whitman. But I think this one, five point is perfect. Six point if it become a Tiger SS platoon. The same way as Otto Carius. He got unit leader reroll all fail hit, so two point. One point for counter attack on the two plus. And one point to give the opportunity to last 10 to any team leader a platoon that is six inches or less from autocarius so that complete my video about warrior command car let me know in the comment below what you think what it should be and if you agree with that and open the discussion with fellow members you play with and we should bring our comments or suggestion to Flames of War, Flames of War may read them and see some sense to it and change their command card and version 4 uh, builder forces according to a new point system for the command card also they can produce an addendum or a modification 
of the gameplay with the command card with uh, an addition on their Flames of War modification or changement uh, what do you call that? that after action report or something like that I don't remember exactly the name but we saw that there's a few with version 4 where they made modification of the rule book and you can do the same with the warrior is make a modification, a general modification of every warrior so there you go Michael Whitman from 12 point to 6 point for example or 5 point Otto Carius 8 point to 4 point Joey Kins stay 4 point etc and name all warrior from every country with a new point you can even create a new pack of command card only with warrior instead inside of all countries for cost with the new point system so what you think about it so let me know in the comments below talk about it and let's bring the point or the suggestion to plans of war and make the game more interesting by allowing people to bring warrior because right now the cost of the warrior make it you decide not to do so because they are too expensive so thank you for watching my video I hope you appreciate I'll see you soon thank you bye bye